Hi, my name is Akash. You're watching Auto Rage, and this is Auto Rage Explained, where I'm going to tell you basic technologies used in automobiles. And today I'm going to tell you about how engine works, so that you can understand engine specifications when you buy your next car. Now, if you want to watch this video in Hindi, do not hesitate to click here. Now, have you ever blown a firecracker in an earthen pot? Now, imagine if that earthen pot is made up of metal. What is going to happen? This is going to happen. Now, engine works in a similar way. This is a piston, and if I explode something right over here, this piston is going to run away to the other side. In engine. This piston is enclosed in a chamber, which is known as a cylinder. Inside cylinder, piston is connected to crankshaft via connecting rod. With this piston moves up and down and rotates the crankshaft. <laughs> What? How can something that moves in a straight line rotate another thing? Well, you must have seen the hand flour mill. Well, something similar happens in the engine. Piston. pushes the connecting rod and the connecting rod rotates the crankshaft now at the top of the cylinder of engine are ports one port which lets fresh air come into the chamber and another port lets exhaust gases go out opening and closing of these ports happen because of valves when piston is at bottom most position it is known as bdc or bottom dead center and when piston is at top most position it is known as tdc or top dead center Now let us assume that the piston is at its topmost position where fuel and air mixture ignites. Now how does it ignite? Well, petrol and diesel engines ignite differently. So I'm going to tell you that in a different video. For now, let us assume that the piston is at its topmost position or TDC and the air and fuel mixture ignites. Now let us recall the metal pot and the firecracker. Similarly, due to ignition piston is pushed and in turn it rotates the crank via connecting rod later when the piston comes up it pushes the exhaust gases and at the same time the exhaust valves open which lets the exhaust fumes go out and then the exhaust valve closes the piston moves down the inlet port opens and then due to vacuum created by the piston the air rushes into the cylinder just like when you suck in water in an injection now when the piston moves up again the inlet and exhaust ports are closed and the air is compressed because air has nowhere to go here the compressed air has petrol or diesel mixed in it and we are at the same point where we started this process and this process repeats again and again and again and again well this is a four stroke engine process well there are other types of engine also like two stroke engine wankel engine but right now we are going to focus on four stroke engines why because these are the most commonly used engines like every petrol or diesel car that you see outside uses a four stroke engine now what are these four strokes expansion is when the air fuel mixture ignites and expands exhaust in when exhaust gases go out intake when the air goes in and the compression when the air is compressed now everything is clear till now Let us move ahead. When the piston moves up and down from the bottom most position or BDC to the top most position or TDC, the volume which is covered by the piston is measured in cc or cubic centimeter. And one cubic centimeter equals to one milliliter. So thousand cubic centimeter is equals to thousand milliliters. And thousand milliliters, you guessed it right. It's one liter. Now whenever you're going to see or read that. one particular engine has displacement of 1 liter you will understand that it is a 1000 cc engine for example maruti suzuki swift has a 1.2 liter engine which means that it is a 1200 cc engine but generally as cc increases number of cylinders also increase why because they are not going to use a huge cylinder but they are going to use multiple cylinders instead so for a swift engine that is of 1200 cc they are going to use four different cylinders of 300 cc each now if you remember that for intake we used one intake valve and for exhaust we used one exhaust valve in a single cylinder engine there was one intake valve and one exhaust valve so there were two valves for a four cylinder engine there are going to be eight valves but now you know what 
Nowadays, these engines are very efficient, so they need more air, which is why Swift has four valves per cylinder, two for intake and two for exhaust. In total, four cylinders will have 16 valves. Well, now if someone is going to say that his or her vehicle has 1.6 liter engine with 16 valves and four cylinder, you are going to understand like that. Now, this was the basics of how engine works. Now, if you want to understand how a petrol and a diesel engine works, click right here. And if you want to understand how flywheel and clutches work, click right here. And if you want to buy a car and you are confused, you don't know which car to buy, you know, just WhatsApp us to this number and we are going to try our best to help you out. And if you do appreciate our efforts, please like, comment and share because that helps us a lot. Bye-bye.